Um, let's look at what we'll be doing today. A little bit about TypeSense. So it's an open source project. Um, and it's basically a the open source answer to like Algolia and, and whatnot, providing a a very powerful, fast search interface. Um, you can either host it yourself, but they do offer a cloud-based uh, solution, which I'll be showing in this article today. Then a little bit about Astro. Astro is a static site generator. Uh, quite a big fan. They they just won uh, most innovative frame framework, I think, in the Jam Jammies. So that's like Jamstack Awards for static site builders and stuff like that. So pretty exciting. They they just beat uh, 11T, which was um, also one of my favorites. <laughs> so it was a card to heart. Um, thing um, but anyway static site builders are pretty amazing they're super fast because they just output plain HTML websites um, but that brings like like I said some issues with them is that they can't really handle server-side scripting unless you use uh, serverless functions but that's another story you could have done that but this is like way easier to do so We'll be starting by setting up the TypeSense cloud. We'll go to cloud.typesense.org and uh, at the first time it will ask you to log in and, and link your account. So I just used this login with GitHub. It's like the easiest thing ever. You just, uh, I don't know, you have to authorize it once, I think, if I remember correctly. Uh, really wasn't difficult. And then what, uh, what we have is like clusters. Uh, the clusters are kind of like your data stores, I guess, if, if I say that correct. Um, I'm just going to walk through this with you guys. So the cluster is kind of like, um, like how much memory must this thing have? As you can see, you can go berserk with these things. Uh, for our demo, I just used the, the, yeah, the little one. Um, I don't need high availability. Like it's it's fine to have these things. So you, so you can set this up. Um, yeah, region. I mean, I technically should pick Cape Town, um, and then we can say which type sense version. I'm just going to use the latest one, um, and and that's about it. First thing we want to do is we want to create a schema in TypeSense, and um, what that is is basically a um, index of what our search is going to look like, right? So as you can see in this little example, I don't know if you can see this really well, but it says uh, what kind of fields we are using. We can set the default sorting field. Uh, we can name this collection. So in our case, it's going to be a post. Um, and it's going to have a title, a description, and a slug, right? Uh, where the title is the title of the post, description makes sense, and slug is the URL. What we'll do now is uh, we're going to go to this, this step, right? So we want a way to uh, send the schema to TypeSend. Uh, but before we do that, we need to install some dependencies. So the first is we want to use uh, the .env thing. I hope npm's working since it like crashed yesterday or uh, like it was unavailable. Always nice. So this one will install a dev dependency for .environment uh, files, uh, meaning we can use the .environment. So I see npm's up and running. Um, so what we then must do is we must create a dot Whoa env file and uh, this file can have this content um, so what we have here is some variables that we uh, want to keep a secret so we don't want to publish this to github or wherever um, and what it has is a type sense host which we'll get to in a bit once the cloud is uh, finished running we want to have the port which is uh, 443 for um, the cloud the protocol is HTTPS the admin key and the search key. 
Um, so the admin key we'll use to publish uh, the schema and update our uh, search index. And the search key is basically only used for the search part. So it's kind of more public. Uh, you can't do anything else than search with it. And then we want to define a search endpoint, uh, which is going to be our website slash search.json. So once you publish this um, whole thing, you kind of want to set this to uh, the end domain. And uh, this is why we need a search index, but we'll get to that once we create that page. Uh, basically, what we're doing at this point is we need to set up Astro, right? Astro is super easy to set up. Um, you just make a directory, navigate to it, init Astro, and then you can run it. So I've already done these steps. Um, so we have a blog up and running. I created three posts. So we have one, two, three. Each post has um, some data. As you can see, Fred is the, one of the maintainers of Astro. Uh, it's just some basic stuff, really. 